Uh, it's uh, always a pleasure to be here. And uh, for, I would like to speak about uh, English influence on the French diplomatic sport in the 19th century and through the example of uh, the Bordeaux Athletic Club. Uh, first, I would like um, uh, to express my gratitude to Margaret yeah, because uh, she helped me a lot uh, one, three months ago in France and she gave me, she got me some interesting information uh, picking in England in uh, tracking, tra in tra because I, I was uh, trying to track uh, this, this person, Thomas Blackwell Small, who created, who he is the pioneer of uh, the first uh, football club in, in Bordeaux. Um, my presentation um, was dealing with the English sport influence onto France and uh, how did cultural transfer to Paris through the case of the Athletic Club of Bordeaux. My, it is my purpose. And I would like to share with you some ideas and some findings and particularly some reflection about the link between sport and wine trading that I discovered in doing this research. Um, this club was quite original in France because it was the second club of football. The first was uh, the Havre Athletic Club, uh, which has been uh, created in uh, 1872. Uh, even if some scholar works currently, currently under the Havre Athletic Club, British influence on the development of French sport during the 19th century has been scarcely studied. Uh, we know very little about the sport pioneers. Boxing demonstration on the Champs Elysees occurred in 1814, and it was not really a success. English runners through the Albion Club performed in Paris in 1829, but we don't know exactly in which way. And the famous Spanish pioneer French gymnastic, as you can, as you may know, the Colonel Francisco Amoro wanted to prepare to prepare one of his athletes to challenge the famous German runner Rummel in the, in the 30s. After that, the British sport influence spread out in Paris and France, particularly in pedestrianism and rowing, as well as horse racing, but we don't have a clear view of its expansion. Um, the history of the Athletic Club of Bordeaux is one example um, of this history in 1876. The 15th of March, Small sent an official demand to the police department of the Gironde, to the prefect, from which we can collect some, several informations. The letter is written in an excellent French, and we can suppose that Small spoke a good French, or more probably, that he got some help, he got some help from French. Small asked the permission for founding a club for, of both football and cricket. If uh, cricket uh, was not the first experiment in France, football was the second club after the Havre Athletic Club. It is interesting to notice that the Ch Chateau of Barbier was the official address of the club at Coderon. There. And very close, there is a ground in Merignac. And I will say that some issues will occur. And finally, we can guess that Small and the practitioners used to play for several months when Small wrote, it is a place of our exercises. But between the letter written in March, written in March and the official response from the prefect of police, a duration of six months has occurred. In this interval, the prefect and the mayors ask for the status of the club and Small provided them. But why is so important period of time? Was it because the demand came from a foreigner and needed more information? In fact, in fact, not. It was a French administrative affair. The social place was at the Chateau de Barbier and was depending on the mayor of Coderon. But the ground was at Merignac, very close, and was depending on the mayor of this district. In addition, both of the mayors were under the control of the mayor of Bordeaux. So there were some letter exchanges between different mayors and the prefect of police, of the police. And uh, it's thanks to, to that we have a, a, a quite big fight about this uh, creation. 
uh, more information, we get more information about the safety of the ground, especially to know if uh, it was far enough from any public ways to avoid any trouble, or on the purpose of the club and on the honorability of the founder. Who was Thomas Beckwell Small? Thanks to Margaret, I could trust I could trace a little, or track a little, uh, the small life trajectory. He was born in 1846 in Boston. He was one of the three boys of the Smalls family, the only one of not being a bank cashier. It is interesting to point out the profession, his profession. He was uh, the profession of the father. He was a surgeon major. Some say that it, it is, he, he was a doctor, some say that he was not. And we can easily imagine that he used to move abroad and maybe to France during his military career. Um, on the official agreement made by the prefect of police, we know that Small lived Cour Portal in the borough of Chaton, which is a very famous place for wine trading. Um, his profession was in employee trade, I suppose, in wine. Small was 34 years old when he married Suzanne Marie Casalis, 20, 21, 21 years old, in September 80, 1880. There was no more information about her family, except that her father was a sailor, au long cours, means professional. Uh, they, got two, they got two daughters, Francois Marie Yvonne, 1881, and Francois Marie Odette, five years later. The older, one, the older one became a French teacher at school and delivered private lessons of French as well. But in 1890, um, Small asked for divorce. Uh, Suzanne Small was not present at the court for the judgment and was condemned to let the two daughters to his husband. I don't know the reason. Small went back to England with his two daughters and married another woman called Alice Elizabeth and got three kids, two boys and one girl. In 1911, he was 65. The social position of Small is interesting enough to notice for many reasons. He was a gentleman, as it is written in, on the Pope Tale of 1911. But this category is, uh, doesn't, doesn't make really sense for French. So I have to make against what uh, gentleman means. Um, and in answer, shortly, uh, that um, a gentleman who was a person who decided to be a gentleman, very English. So I can imagine that Small wanted to be promoted on the social scale in claiming that, in claiming that he was a gentleman. However, the financial position of Small was quite comfortable, even though he was not really a wealthy man. We can read on the wedding contract that Small brought 25,000 francs, which is not bad, at the age of 40, uh, 34, you have the equivalent in euros on the screen. And um, the dowry of, of his wife was not uh, bad as well because she brought 25,000 francs. Then the census of 1911 precise that uh, he lived with his private means that, uh, and that he had a domestic. So he certainly belonged to the upper middle class and has made some good business with wine, with uh, French wine, but which one? We, uh, we need to get further information on Small and on the Athletic Club of Bordeaux. Bordeaux, um, it was not really a coincidence if the second club of Bordeaux in France was found in this place, because the place was very English, but also a little bit Dutch for many, for decades, <coughs> partly for wine trading reasons, partly for leisure time. The term of sport was known, at least from the middle, of 19th century in this town and um, point out the interest of the body exercises for the population of Bordeaux. As you can see on the local papers, sport was referred to the England the Motherland, but only steeple chairs and general terms of sport have, seen men have been mentioned. 
cricket and football were totally unknown before small. But clubs and sports started to spread out in the second half of the century. In Arcachon, for example, famous sea resort very close to Bordeaux, was founded in 1866 the Yachting Club, then the Rowing Club, and so on, so many others. From then on, from then on <coughs> rifle and gymnastic society have been multiplied in this town and in the department of Gironde. More than 30 clubs can be traced <coughs> between 1870 and 1880s in Bordeaux. 1880 in Bordeaux. Cycling, which is a thing. also, we can also notice the cycling club. Social activities were growing up, Société des Amis, Getty Club, and so on, bar, gab, cabaret, pubs, pubs spread everywhere in Bordeaux. As a consequence, founding, creating an athletic club was not very original in 1876, but for food practice in football, yes, it is, it was. And um, we can see on a, on a single sheet of paper provided for the police department that 14 founders were cited. 11 of them were British, including perhaps one Belgium or Flanders, and three of them only were French. To get the acquaintance of the club, no doubt that small shows the right people. As a matter of fact, the prefect reported that none of the founders got some problem with the police. And moreover, I quote, some of them are well known, are very well known at Bordeaux. I was hoping to track the trajectory of the founders. Unfortunately, I could uh, only uh, find um, found, um, three of them. Uh, Henri Percival was perhaps the English gentleman who asked for a passport to travel in 1843 with his domestic, who was such a rich man, and maybe a sir. The second word is Edwards, uh, A-T-H, Edwards, is, and in the Spalding Official Golf Guide, Continental Golf Resort, you can see that between 1912 and 1915, he ran a resort place for golf players in Bordeaux, so has got a strong <laughs> connection with the sport. The only French I could find out was Joseph Clavel. On the passport, he has for traveling to London, and it is written that he was a trader uh, in one and were 27 years in 1877. Uh, more interesting is the address of the club at the Chateau Barbier. In fact, actually, um, I was looking for a castle and a famous wine brand when I discovered the archives. Actually, I asked uh, some colleagues specialists in wine, Bordeaux, and none of them knew something about this place and this brand, about this brand. In fact, the Barbier's brother ran a pub and organized some entertainment, including gambling and spiritism. In the 1860s, a mincing man cured, cured several, several thousand people and large queue were for me, were waiting for him at the entrance of the pub. Barbier's brother were also involved with the Chamber of Trading for having traded some bad claret at, as a famous chateau brand. They were both fined. Fine. This uh, small involved with this trouble business, which could explain the money he got, I couldn't find out yet. Uh, of course, some limits of the study can be, can be pointed out. Um, the main critics is about the practice. I didn't find out any information about the games, the number of matches, etc. I have to continue my research in the newspaper. But moreover, I have to look at more precisely the founder's background, perhaps with an English help. Uh, I would like to also um, to look at more closely the relations between the athletic clubs and the other clubs of sport and gymnastic, in particularly golf and tennis club with uh, the founder Edwards. In addition, it's quite strange that the very famous League Girondine d'Education Physique was founded by Dr. Tissier and an English called 
Um, and in, in that way, the research must be extended to the region. Garrett's a very famous resort, was one of the favorite places for the English and sport. Golf and horse racing were well developed, as well as in Pau, 200 kilometers far, far from Bordeaux. Uh, the town was welco has welcomed for decades English, who created the very first golf on the continent. As a result, some perspectives of research can be stressed, can be pointed out. I would like to, to go further in, in identif identifying sport pioneers in the mood of cultural, cultural transfers. Can Thomas More be a specific figure of the sport pioneers? If we are looking at the profile of uh, uh, Small, we can point out some specific characteristics. He lived in Bordeaux for more than uh, 10 years. He was well integrated, married, a local native woman, he spoke French and had kids, and moreover, moreover uh, very well French habit, he divorced. Um, but uh, what is it strange is, it is that uh, this club, has, uh, the founders, has an average of very old, uh, from 30s to 50 and perhaps more, which is not uh, in the line of uh, the founders in France sport founder in France. For example, Stade Bordelais, Racing Club, etc. The founders were very young, much more younger than the founders in Bordeaux uh, Athletic Club. Small had not a very high, and moreover, Small had not, had not a very high social position, but his trajectory was quite stable regarding perhaps the professional position of his father. His father. He stayed in France probably because he got money, but and got money, but with some honorability, it is another question. But moreover, the background of one man is not sufficient to expose interesting reasons for founding a football club as a pioneer. Obviously, the relation with other founders must be pointed out. More especially, the relation of the club with the others must be highlighted. Analyzing comparatively their statutes can be interesting to see if the athletic club follow in priority the English habits or the French ones. In fact, we can suppose that uh, if the relation with the English community were sufficient to form this club, it was not enough for the continuation, continuation of this club. The French family um, of his wife didn't practice sport, apparently, and no gymnastics. Uh, during the 80, 1880, we don't know anything about the club, and we can subsume that uh, the adventure was finished. Very, but there is a lack of evidence, but I think that Small was you, the unique real founder and almost um, quite isolated. Um, in short, and in conclusion, I would like to, with this presentation, um, to draw some lines of current and future research about sports pioneer in exploring, in exploring the cultural transfer phenomenon. Why club football and, uh, and uh, cricket was founded in Bordeaux in 1876. I've tried to, I've tried to answer in focusing on the founders. It is essential, but it was not enough to explain why this club didn't last for a long time. We don't have any information on its uh, becomings, and perhaps it had been transformed and in another club or something. I have to study more precisely the relations inside the club and with other sport clubs and with entertainment associations. And overall, I have to organize this information. In order to do that, I have to theorize, not only in reference to Fupu and, and to Elias, but in comparing with the example to other clubs. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> You've got cultural transfer, mm -hmm. and this is transfer from England to France. Mm -hmm. Do you think there was any transfer of sport from France to England? <laughs> I know you do. I know you <laughs> the opportunity to say. <laughs> um. In this example, I don't think so. No, no, of course. But, uh, but you know, I'm interested, yes, to, to, to enlarge this, uh, this view and uh, uh, 
And if we regard the Jean Palais, for example, it's a, big, it's a very interesting example for transfer from France to England, because he visited the, the very well-known uh, gymnastic of Joinville, gymnast club of Joinville Lake in 1866 in France. And they made some report, and he was very interested in the French gymnastics. It's one example, but I can find it another. But gymnastics, <laughs> yeah. But gymnastics was very linked to sport, because uh, uh, I, I remember in, in Liverpool, John Halley, Liverpool. and he was also the pioneer in the Olympian sport movement. Inside, 
And the course is very difficult because of uh, some storms, and you can play and uh, play with it. Thanks, Jean-François.